everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and in today's video I will be making a Pokemon doll. After several other doll artists made some Pokemon dolls and I always loved Pokemon as a child, it was about time for me to make a Pokemon doll too. We will be making Mega Audino since that is one of my favorite Pokemon. So let's get started. For Mega Audino I'll be using Bunny Blank this time. Audino is a Pokemon inspired by a rabbit, so I thought Bunny Blank would be just perfect. As always, the first steps are removing her factory paint and hair. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of her face up and hair removal, so I used some past footage from my Decora Collab Apple White doll. I will be making a wig for this doll since Mega Audino has these cute little ears. I'm attaching some magnets onto the head with tape and make the wig cap first. After this was done, I prepared some blonde pink ombre yarn wraps. If you want to know exactly how this works, check out Mazakito's videos. I'm gluing weft by weft and give her a sweet bob haircut with some bangs. down everything in the end, I'm using some water and a plastic ribbon I'm wrapping around her head. After the wig was done, it's time to sculpt her ears. I'm first making the inside of her ears with some beige polymer clay, already adding the magnet, bake them and then add the little swirls. After that was baked, I'm adding the white parts and give them some shading. They seem to work just fine. Time to paint her face. First I'm blushing her face and then I'm slowly starting to add all the little details. Sketching out the eyes was a bit tough because I wanted them to be a bit off the actual mold, but I found a nice shape that worked just very good with her face. I tried to make her eyes look very close to Mega Audino by giving her no pupil and a lot of reflections in her iris.
some pearly shimmers, gloss and some cute little white marks on her cheeks finish up the face perfectly. Now we have to make her outfit. I was thinking that some bloomers with a little baby doll shirt, a coat and some sweet little boots would look very cute. I started by making the bloomers with some cream colored fabric and some lace and pink ruffles, cutting out the pattern from the fabric and then adding the ruffles and sew everything together with some elastic ribbons. making the little shirt by cutting out the white fabric, adding some heart shaped lace, gathering it and sew it onto the top piece and adding a closure and a little ribbon in the front. For her coat I'm adding a gradient to the cutout fabric that I printed on some iron-on fabric vinyl, then adding some lace my mom crocheted for me. some little ruffles to the sleeves and finish up the coat with pink lining. The closure is a little snap button in the front. To give Mega Odino the signature little brooch, I'm making a satin ribbon and add the swirly brooch that I made from Paula McClay before and glue it onto the coat. adding some tiny ribbons to the sleeves as well. For shoes I'm cutting the bunny blank shoes to some short boots, remove the heel and sand them down so that the pattern isn't visible anymore and paint them white. Then I'm making some little wings from white UV gel. I'm just making a pattern first, draw them on and cure them in the UV line.
and I'm gluing them onto the boots and they're done. Last but not least, Mega Adino needs the Audi Knight, right? So I'm mixing some polymer clay colors into a little twist, bake it, and then build up a little clear bead with several layers of UV gel. It worked quite nice and looks very sweet, I think. And yeah, we're finally done! I'm really proud of my little Mega Adino doll. I especially love how her face and ears turn out. What do you like most about her? And what is your favorite Pokemon? I had a lot of fun creating this doll and I might make some more Pokemon dolls in the future. I hope you had fun watching this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some future custom fun. And here's a shout out to all of my patrons. I'm so thankful for all of your support. Without you creating these videos wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful creative day. Bye!